bottom line is that in partner violence, in domestic violence, women assault their partners. About the same percent of women assault their partners as men. It's not the same percent are not injured. Women are more often injured. But that doesn't change the fact that women attack as often as men. And uh, what is the, uh, and, and the reactions to uh, lectures like these? We understand that you've been uh, censored, uh, things like that. Yes, generally people refuse to believe it, despite a lot of scientific evidence showing that these are the facts. In fact, overwhelmingly, 230 studies as of a couple of months ago, and people refuse to believe it. It can't be true. Everyone knows that it's, everyone is supposed to know that men do this, and men do it, but so do women. So what are the practical uh, conclusions of uh, your, these kind of researches? What do you uh, call to change in the, in the world? The, the main practical conclusion stems from the fact that when women assault a partner, they put themselves at great risk. They've set the example. And if we're going to end violence against women, we have to take steps to end violence by women. Now, you mentioned that uh, there are more injuries when it comes to women being injured. Uh, first of all, how do you understand that and what should uh, be learned from that uh, fact? Well, it's primarily because men average three inches taller in the United States and better developed muscles and, uh, and inflict more injury. The same attack is more, has a greater probability of injury when it's man does it as compared to women. Well, what can we do about that? We can say that we need to keep on the efforts to end, end violence in marital and dating relationships. Well, could you tell us about the, those who really opposed you? Where is it coming from? Organized organizations, uh, trends, things that people are used to? It comes from uh, people who believe that the main cause of partner violence is male dominance. And that is an important cause, but it's only one of many causes and not even the most important cause. We need to address it. But this group of people are fanatics. Uh, they insist on a single cause and, there's, uh, and it's men who are the problem. Well, men are a problem, but so are women. And you're saying that this also harms women because they're not receiving the right treatment. That's right. Women need treatment for partner violence just like men do. They're not going to quit by themselves just like men are not going to quit by themselves. So when there's a treatment program, both partners need to be addressed because in most cases they're both doing it. Now your research is mainly regarding North America. Some are international. Tell us about your visit here in Israel and your participation here. Well, I obviously came for this conference, which is great to be able to share this information. Um, but I think the same situation applies in uh, Israel. When the Ministry of Health and Welfare funded a study of partner violence, they funded it only to investigate violence against women. They didn't it's labeled domestic violence, but it's only half the problem. And that needs to change. If, if Israel is going to deal with a problem on a f basis of factual evidence, then a new national survey is investigated, which asks about who's doing it, not just assume that it's only men.